Well, I was the one that had jotted down about the writing process. And the reason why I put that is because of an experience that had just happened this past semester. And I had handed out an, uh, an outline after I had given the directives um, and the outcome, learning outcomes for the essay that we were going to be working on. And I had provided an outline for them to just complete, giving them permission to just, just write your thoughts down. This doesn't have to be perfect. Let's just see where our mind goes. And then it, the outline helps structure things. Um, the, there was a lack of doing the assignment by the next week. And of course, as the professor, I was very frustrated and I wanted to blame, you know, all the things like, you know, what was going on? Were you too busy? And what it came down to was a, a sole student who was strong enough, you know, to say, Dr. Burroughs, I don't even know what an outline is, what I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Hey, leaders and learners, Leonard Geddes here, founder of the Learn World Projects, where my mission is to make learning more visible, manageable, and effective. So in this video, we're going to talk about three things that are interrelated. Um, writing, inability, and not doing assignments. In this story, this professor starts us off talking about a pretty common scenario in which students are assigned work, but they don't do it. And the professor discovers that students didn't do the work because they didn't know how to do the work. And so in this animated video, I'm going to take you into the process about why that happens, how that happens, and then I'm going to leave you with an excellent tool called a metacognitive outline that will help students think about the topics they are writing about better, and in the end, write better products. So check this out, and I'll see you on the other end. This group of faculty members were expressing their frustrations over students not completing assignments. Through the years, they tried different tactics to incentivize students. Some penalized students for not doing work, while others gave students credit for doing work that was required. But neither of these approaches worked. Students continued avoiding assignments. But during a faculty workshop, Dr. Miller learned the true nature of the problem. Students were not doing their homework because they were unable to do the work. When the work was assigned, they believed they could do it. It seemed achievable while Dr. Miller was explaining it, but when they attempted to do the work on their own, they ultimately became frustrated and gave up. Dr. Miller learned that students mask their inability in apathy. All of the years of students not completing assignments now had a different context. They didn't lack motivation, they lacked the ability to do some aspect of the assignment and their apathy was just a facade that protected them from feeling the pain of failure. For her students, this meant not doing writing outlines. Next, Dr. Miller learned that writing is the most challenging type of academic work students are required to do because it requires them to engage in three complex cognitive processes. Number one, students must capture information about the topic. Whether in class or reading, they must acquire information about the concepts being presented. Number two, students must cognitively process the information. They must use their minds to transform the content into usable knowledge. And number three, students must express that information in a coherent manner. They must effectively communicate the information. Dr. Miller learned how to use metacognitive outlines to reduce the cognitive burden that was the true obstacle behind students' avoidance. Metacognitive outlines work because they separate the cognitive processing elements of writing from the other two elements. They provide necessary direction for the content and help students efficiently convert the content into the ultimate writing product. Here's what Dr. Miller did with her students. First, she generated the essential buy-in from her students by assuring them that if they did the cognitive work up front, writing would be much more doable. Next, she used the compendium of thinking skills to help students identify the cognitive skills they would need for the task. But before turning her students loose, she wanted them to get some experience before tackling a major project. So she used the reflective prompting tactic by requiring students to apply the metacognitive outline to a paper they had previously written. Her strategy worked better than she could have ever imagined. Before the students submitted their revised papers, Dr. Miller asked them to discuss their experiences. Here are some of the responses from her students. 
The best part is that the students wrote qualitatively better papers. Dr. Miller was overjoyed that she not only helped her students produce a better writing product, but her students also enjoyed the process of writing as well. When Dr. Miller shared her experience using metacognitive outlines, her colleagues begged her to share the strategy with them. Now they too can join her in celebrating better writing from their students. Wow, so I hope that video was as useful to you as the metacognitive outline strategy has been for many students and educators. You know, when we help students separate the cognitive element out of the other writing process features, it makes the process much more enjoyable and it makes them produce better thinking and then better writing in the end. So if you like this video, please go ahead and like it, share it with others. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this and then also click that notification bell so you'll be the first to be aware of when we release new videos. Thanks.